How's it going today? Walking to life with Bills. It's been a minute since I come on here and seen y'all, but as you see, I've been a little busy here. I have. I've got all this where the transmission and engine sits, kind of sanded down. They still got to get up here and over here a little bit more, maybe right around here. Actually, no, that looks pretty good. I might just leave that alone. Yeah, I will leave that alone. So basically, just a little bit up in there. Like it did the other side and maybe the frame over there and this and that and the other freaking thing. This is why I haven't been on here very much because I've been pretty busy doing this and look at the freaking dirt I got in there. Well, I'll be damned. Should probably have that covered up a little bit, maybe. Just saying. It'd be nice if that wasn't there because then I can move that and do this little piece here. Maybe I will do that. Where's my mask? When you're doing this, make sure you put a mask on your face. Because when I started this last time, I didn't put a mask on my face and I kind of was blowing out some pretty nasty shit for a while there. That's probably not a good thing. You don't want to be blowing nasty shit out. I'll put one of the high tech masks on, like we used to use there back when that thing was a thing. What's it called? Yeah, that thing. We'll get up here and we'll give this a little bit of a sanding job. The only problem with this mask, I can't talk when it's on or my glasses fog. Oh my God. Yeah, this is fucking stupid. This fucking thing. God damn it. All right, which way is this gonna go? So as you can see here, I'm getting kind of carried away again, but that's how I roll. Probably gonna be laying on this truck for like a month straight clean this frame off because I worked on the back half quite a bit and this year it's gonna be the front half quite a bit as you can tell this thing doesn't work too bad check this thing out if anybody's ever used a pickler or not it's got little teeth on it you just stick it in the hole uh oh I must have I lost my seal again must have fell out damn it it just takes off like the big scales and stuff as you've seen there and i kind of did lose my washer again that really sucks, a big one. Yeah, it's gone. Frick! I had this thing all nice and quiet for you too. Oh well. Careful. Easy. I have to figure out something else for there unless I drop the gas tank. That's a big ass gas tank. I don't feel like it.
Well, I'm getting there. I got this all pickled up in here, cleaned off. We'll get some of that paint for that. I gotta go back there where the uh, hanger bearing was for the two piece drive shaft because we're gonna go a single piece drive shaft now. So I gotta go back there and clean that bar off going across. I do have the uh, cross member out as you can see. So we're gonna do something about that. Whether we're gonna build one or buy one or put the other one back in, I don't know. We're gonna have to get the uh, engine and transmission in the truck first and then see what we need to do from there. But I'm gonna try to scroll back to here real quick and just see if we can't clean that one bar up a little bit. It's a little bit tighter squeeze back here for me because the truck ain't really jacked up the right way to actually we're gonna get up in here too I see where the cross member was. If you look up here, I don't know if you can see it or not. If you look up in here, she's got a little bit of a crusty, crusty critter happening. So let's get up there first, since we're right here. There's nowhere to hide. Oh. I'll tell you what, the fucking pickler, it works fucking good. That's a must-have tool for doing this. Yeah. 